Hello, and welcome back to Everyone Dies at the End. As you can hear, I am a little bit sick. Before we start off, something happened last episode. <gasps> I need Jesse back. <laughs> Jesse, where are you? <laughs> I'm in the ravine. What happened to Romeo? You need to tell us how it Romeo died because, oh my gosh. No! Oh no! <laughs> well, this is, this is that was fast. Jesse, you were last seen with him. Did you kill Romeo? Did you, did you kill I Romeo? I wish I did. So what happened was, I told him I needed to go back to make some boots and I'm fine. And I go, do, 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 do. I go there and then I come back. Then I get waylaid by like three gas. I'm like, hey, Romeo, I could use some help. Then he was telling me he found something. And then I was like, okay, I'm probably going to die. So he's coming back. And then he's like, hey, Jesse, I'm probably going to die because I'm on fire. And he's like, I am down to like less than three hearts. So he's burning to death. Also, that portal is cursed because that is a spot to spawn in. So we, I would recommend not using it. Also, all his stuff is probably gone. You know, Wait, who won the bet? I did, technically, but not how he died. <laughs> I said Romeo would die first, first day, so I was technically right. Yes, Romeo died in the nether. So if you guessed that last episode, congratulations. Also, I jump scared Yama. Whoa. Hi, sorry. Jesse explained that him and Romeo got separated and apparently Romeo burned to death. So we ended up having a funeral. Everybody, everybody, helmets off, helmets off, hats off. All right, gather around. Romeo! <laughs> 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 He died as he lived. On fire. <laughs> and now, I'm sure you guys are all wondering the big question, but he didn't have the warden egg. I know where the warden egg is. He trusted me. Originally, he hid it inside that mushroom right there. <laughs> he, then he asked me had to hide a will. It Did he? Yes. He, he had said, a will to throw it in the lava, so we need to get rid of it. I'm pretty sure that was your will. The last thing Romeo said to me in regards to the warden egg, he said, and I quote, I trust you. Tell me where it is so I know where it is, and if I die, it's yours. So we sort of collectively agreed that Yama inherits it since he's the only one who knows where it is. <laughs> and in the event that he dies... Josh gets it. Who hasn't joined the server yet, but will in good time. <laughs> and now I'm sure you guys are all wondering about the new developments around since they weren't here in the last episode. Jess and I collected animals from the mainland. They are incredibly loud, uh, but we bowed them all here two by two, which was very painstaking, and then we, we bred them. Uh, these ones we just turned from regular uh, mushrooms. He also has this a lovely little horse who he has yet to name. He wanted a different horse, but that was the horse that we ended up having to bring because apparently you can't bring full-size horses and boats anymore. I thought that used to be a thing, but it's changed now. And Jesse and I did a little strip mining and we got 36 diamonds. So I'm going to be using these to make us each diamond armor. So I did end up killing a lot of cows over on the mainland. So in turn, I ended up getting quite a bit of leather. So my plan is to make the group some lovely little morning caps for the loss of our dear friend Romeo. <laughs> I figure that might be a nice little tribute since he's no longer with us and he only lasted an episode. I'm gonna go get the black dye for those and then I'm gonna deliver them.
Well, you would have been helpful when I was looking for leads. Huh? Don't ha me. We needed leads to both the animals across, and now you show up? Oh, that was probably a bad idea. You can drown. Goodbye, stupid man. Alrighty, now that that's done, everything's all delivered and such. Uh, if you noticed, I made an extra one. That one's for Josh whenever he does come on. Uh, just in case, you know, he wants to mourn the loss of Romeo because he never actually got to- <laughs> He never actually got to see him! The next thing I want to work on is probably getting rid of the egg house because that is horrendous. I need an actual house. And if you hadn't noticed, Jesse's already starting to move out. He's built half a house. And Yama's, of course, put me to shame with his really nice tent. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. He's got, like, his... He's got, like, the whole campfire thing going on. He's got, like, little... I, I like the little accents that he always does. He's, he goes for, like, a Viking vibe. And I absolutely love it. Oh, Romeo. <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> Romeo. So I've made in a creative world what kind of house that I want to build. I'm going to go collect the materials for it now. And I'm going to be putting it all in this chest. Time to start the montage. So I designed this house to have a lot of diorite in it for one reason, one reason only. Yama threatened me. He threatened me that if I put any diorite in my build, no matter how big the build, he would replace it. He would replace it block by block with deep slate. I'm not going to say anything to him. I'm going to see if he remembers that. <laughs> so don't tell him that. Also, I should mention, I got a frog. I stole it. I think I will name you Sherbert. Let's go say hi to the boys and see what they're up to. Where, where's your morning cap? It's in here. It's 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 still on the box. You're not gonna wear it. Yet. I'll wear it. You're right. You're right. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold on. Wait. We're starting to do recording. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo. I did do that though. I did. I did. <laughs> so here is. Here is what I have so far for the houses, okay? Okay. So this right here is going to be, quote unquote, going to be like my town center. This is my planning hole. So planning hole? Part of the this, planning yeah, hole? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look. Look. You got you a come planning down here, hole. You come you're, down you're here and better look. off not questioning certain things. Look. Is the warden egg down here? Fun fact, I found it. <gasps> you did? Wait wait, 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 wait. Did you find it today while we were talking or did you find it last night, Jesse? You didn't find it last night. Didn't find it last night. I found it today. You didn't take it. It's still secure. I had it hidden right here. Behind those two. It was very obvious, but at the same time, why else would someone come down here? Good point. Back to uh the back to the planning hole. Oh. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Also, also. Jesse? <laughs> Jesse, are you I wearing your made. morning Fishy cap? Business. You're not. No. Do you not miss Romeo? I do, but remember, his death was entirely his fault. You yes. can still miss him. I'm starting to think Jesse did it. <laughs> you know what? We'll never know because our friend is dead. You, you'll know once my episode comes out. It'll dissolve me. I mean, you can cut things out. You could have had a whole Mufasa moment. We would know. Long live the king. See? All right. I think it's time to start on my build. I'm going to start doing the house, and we're going to see how far we get with the materials that I have. Let's go.
so this is the finished product of the house. I absolutely love it and now it's raining. Let's take you on a tour. This is the front entrance. This is what you're first going to see when you walk inside. This is my first sword, which you can barely see it through the glowstone. And this is my first pickaxe. And this will be... I don't, this will probably be this armor set. Or I could put my blue one on. I could put my blue one. This is going to be kind of like the living quarters. Place like where uh, guests can come and sit, come and visit. Be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, what are you doing? Not dying. Oh, and then this is the basement. I ended up using a lot of the extra spruce wood for the storage chest, and then I moved the enchantment table into here. He doesn't know I've moved it in here yet, but hopefully they're chill with that. I, I just, I honestly just kind of stole it. And upstairs will be the kitchen. It's got beautiful views from all sides. I'm very happy with how this came out. And as you can see, I got the massive amounts of diorite in here. Also, I moved my diamonds. I've moved mine into the walls because I figured that might be a better space. Nobody nobody ever looks in the walls. Nobody ever thinks to look in the walls. So I've, I've got like my special barrel that I'll put like special things in here. And then upstairs, I think will probably be potions. But now I can finally move out of the egg house and into my beautiful, new, wonderful home. So say goodbye to the egg house. Oh yeah, the warden egg. I forgot to mention that. But you saw, obviously, that I got control of it. And, well, I'm not really going to do anything with it. Not yet. Not yet. I just wanted to know where it was, just in case Yama did die. Because his will is for it to go to Josh, but Josh doesn't know that. And if I know where it is, that's a good thing. I don't think I'm going to betray his trust. That would be kind of, like, messed up. But I am happy knowing where it is, definitely. And before I end off this episode, I wanted to point out one- Oh my gosh! Okay, hold on. One second. Holy crud. <laughs> Anyways! Before I end off the episode, you may have noticed what- I'm just gonna say it. Obviously, Sherbert's not here. Um... <gasps> no! Sherbert! No! <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no. So yeah, that that happened. Uh hardcore is horrible. Thank you for watching. I'm not sure what I have planned for the next episode, but hopefully it's going to be extravagant and awesome. Uh <laughs> Sherper, no. Thank you for watching, and I hope you tune in for the next episode. See you guys later. Bye.